The Sandown Handicap Hurdle is next. This is a Class 6 to 90 hurdle. We haven't seen many to 90 hurdles. And I think everybody starts off with a rating of 100 in the NH side of things. And you can see most of these are horses who are supposedly inferior. But there's quite a few of them in this. Danette Stu Gray, a giant of candle like Thomas Rogers, Goldie Stu Gray, Sablazzo Trouble and Ellis Chip for Alex Cherry, Sapphire and Steel for Martin Little, Poles Hay for James Shea, Jovial Apparent Thomas Rogers, Wash and Go Obi-Wan, Charlene Adamson for Ben Benici and Spars Corner for James Shea. So 11 of them then in this, which, like I say, is quite surprising, and away they go, but you will find that quite a few of these will be chasers who've just got really low hurdle marks from the odd run on the hurdle at the start of the season. Sapphire and Steel, my horse, for example, won the Fox Hunters over the Grand National Fences last week, and subsequently couldn't get into any races at all over fences this week, but they had any chance at all, so stick it in this one and see what happens. So they're already over their first two. I'm sure plenty of other trainers have done something similar, and wash and go has gone off into an early lead of about three lengths to Ijala Candlelight in second and then Sablazzo Trouble as they get over to third which they're all safely over the back marker just goldy at this point the only grey in the field a lot of greys around this season and it's quite surprising when you only see one or sometimes none but more often than not there's two or three they get over the fourth and all safely over that one with goldy Continuing along at the back and wash and go, continuing in the lead. So it's wash and go that leads in by about four to Ijara Candlelight in second, Sapphire and Steel in third, and then the Nitz and Poles Hurry, and then Shallow and Adamson and Jovial Apparent, and Sablazzo Trouble and Spars Corner and Goldie has gone past Ellis Chip now, who's just starting to labour a little bit at the back and with this. Something to miss with that, oh, I don't know, but after yesterday, when I declared a horse was absolutely out of it, what was that yesterday? Was that day before yesterday? Uh, it was so far behind, it got no chance, and he ended up winning. And uh, over the fifth we go, so I'm not going to say anything about Ellis Chip. Probably come with a wet sail and win by two lengths, but at the moment it's struggling out the back, and Wash and Go is further in the lead, well, not further in the lead than um, Ellis Chip is behind, so anyway, they're racing up past the stand shortly over the flight that'll be the last next time round I'm getting myself all in a tizzy and quite recorded from Booker the last race yet to be fair wash and go is the leader I thought Blue Penny was enough last week but um, there you go oh, buses aren't they when they come along they come along in twos and threes so it's wash and go in front from Ijala Candlelight second Sapphire and Steel is third then Denitz is fourth and Poles Hay is fifth Ellis Chip is still continuing, although he's out of sight at this point. Oh, we're going to get a long shot around this turn and see him. I don't know, we'll see just how far away he is. He's some distance away from the rest of them, but Wash and Go is five or six lengths clear. Oh, a jar of candlelight in second, Sapphire and Steel in third, Poles A in fourth, then Denitz and Shallow and Adamson, Spars Corner, German Apparent, Sablazzo, Trouble and Goldie. Ellis Chip somewhere in the distance. Wash and Go's lead is down to no more than three now. With Ijana Candlelight second and Sapphire and Steel on the inside third. Poles Hay now moving up around the outside as the field begin to get themselves into position to challenge this leader. You can see some Black so Trouble making a forward move around the outside as they get over number eight. With the exception of Ellis Chip, who I now am prepared to rule out of it, you would say that won't rule anything else out. Anything can win this still yet. And wash and go. He's in the lead. Getting over number nine. There's just three more flights to take. And wash and go. Poles Hay is second. Sapphire is still third. Ijala Candlelight fourth. Then Denitz and Shallow and Adamson. And then Sablazzo Trouble there. And no more than five lengths off the lead. As to his jovial apparent Spars Corner and Goldie are getting closer as well. Over the third last they go. And Wash and Go's lead is now just about a length and a half. 
to Paul Turley, Sapphire and Steel, Arjana Candlelight, Sablazzo Trouble coming around the outside, Sholun Adams, and then you can see Ellis Chip how far away he's at the back, but he's still going, bless him, and Wash and Go is the leader from Sablazzo Trouble, who's now coming through the challenge in second, then Jovial Apparents back in third, Sapphire and Steel on the inside, now looks beaten, the grey, Goldie is running on nicely, they're coming down towards the final two flights and the final three furlongs, and Sablazzo Trouble has hit the front, Sablazzo Trouble in the lead, then Wash and Go's gone, Jovial Apparent is moving into second. Gold is making some ground on the outside. Over the second last they go. And it's a Blatso trouble in the lead. Jovial Apparent is trying to chase in second. So Shannon Harrison pulls A. And Goldie Sapphire is still trying to get back into it. There's only a furlong and a half to go. And the leader, a Blatso trouble, has got one more flight to take. It's an uphill finish. Has he got enough in the tank? Gets over the final flight. Seems to be far enough clear to me. He's still a good six lengths clear. Nothing's closing at all. Ellis Chip has finally pulled up as his stable mate. a Blatso trouble. Races up the sand downhill to take the 0 to 90 hurdle pretty impressively up towards the line. Sablazzo Trouble takes it from Jovial Apparent Goldie, then Shannon Ramson, Sapphire and Steel, Jala Candlelight, and all the way back to the Nitz with Ellis Chip finally giving up the ghost. Turning for home, but Alex Cherry won't be too worried about that one because his other ones won. And Sablazzo Trouble takes it. There's the winner, Sablazzo Trouble for Alex Cherry. Jovial Apparent for Thomas Rogers was second. Goldie for Stu Gray was third. Shalun Adamson, Ben Benici fourth. And Sapphire and Steel stuck on to be fifth. <laughs>